And joining us now is House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, Congressman, welcome back. Glad you're with us. Um, you know, I was the Thank MC you. the night that Newt Gingrich became Speaker. It was the first time in 40 years Republicans took control of the House. They kept and they fulfilled their promise. In their case, they had a, a contract with America. Yours are commitments to America. I've urged Republicans to do this in the past. I'm glad you're doing this because there's a, there's a very strong component of, a, of accountability here. All of your members that will run on these commitments, will, they're pledging to voters that they're going to keep them, correct? Correct. And, you know, Sean, we're here. I wanted to roll out in Washington, not Washington, D.C., but Washington County, Pennsylvania. Why? Because the commitment to America is about you, America, not Washington. And what we have is a plan for a new direction. We spent the last year and a half, all the Republican members in Congress, on different task forces, going out to listen to the American public. And if you watch the rollout today, that's exactly what we did here. We didn't get up and just talk to you. We took questions from the audience. How can we make this economy strong? How can we lower our gasoline price? How can we afford and stop inflation? A nation that's safe. 200,000 new police officers making sure these DAs and prosecutors are upholding the law. Our future that's built on freedom that um, we have a parent's bill of rights, that you have a say in your kid's education. We had a question from, uh, she, she called herself a mama bear, that she had gone to the school board meeting because her poor daughter was being left behind, you know, and she gets called a terrorist. We want you to have a say in that. And then, how do we hold this government accountable? There is no check and balance right now, but we'll be able to bring that. We have a plan. I know the president attacked it last night. I guess he wants to attack it because much of his policies created these problems and he has no plan, but we do. And that's our commitment to you. If you trust us with the majority, has, join with the president, us. The president yeah. has to attack because there's no, there's, there's no policy success that he can point to. The worst inflation in 40 years, the highest gas prices we've ever paid, chaos. We now set a record of illegal immigrants already this year. We've got a long way to go. Over 2 million illegal immigrants that we know about in the country. One foreign policy disaster after another. The American yeah. people, this election, what are we now, 47 days away, 46 days away. 46. Now, the, this is critical. So much of this depends on the economy, and so much of it is self-inflicted. For example, we can go back to the Trump policies on the border. You promised to do that. They will work. Yes. They've been proven to work. You can go back to energy independence. That will not only create high-paying career jobs, it's good for national security. It will lower the price at the pump, and it will lower the price of every item we buy at every store and lower inflation. Why, would, why did they abandon the single best... Um, most independent uh, thing that our economy needs, and that's the lifeblood of our economy, energy. Why did they just stop domestic production? You know what? On their very first day, they did this. They went after all the energy companies, telling them to produce less. You know what that does? That makes us dependent on other countries. Why aren't we going to be dependent on America? We're going to bring the supply chain back from China. We're going to be energy independent, which creates American jobs. It lowers inflation. It keeps more of your money in your pocket as you go forward. And you know the other thing that it does, Sean? It makes the world safer. You know America energy independence? Also, American natural gas is 40% cleaner than Russian natural gas. So why don't we sell our natural gas to Europe so they're not beholden to Putin and others? This is just a start, and we should secure our border Stop this fentanyl from coming across and killing our children. You know, you talk about you have four big items with sub items in them. Um, the economy, that includes energy independence, fighting inflation, strength, strengthening the supply chain. You talk about safety and security at our border and every town and every city. Uh, get rid of these insane no bail laws, refund the police, not defund the police, increase our national security in light of all the hostile actors in the world. Uh, you talk about a f future that is built on freedom. That starts with education. Uh, by, by that, I know you mean reading, writing, math, science, history, and computers, not uh, woke this and woke that, and CRT? We're, 
Yeah, we also ensure fairness, that only women compete in women's sports. We give you a parent's bill of rights. We want an education system that's focused on children, that teaches them to dream big instead of what is happening today. We have a plan to catch our children up from the lost learning that happened to the pandemic. The Democrats have no plan. That's the difference. We should have an election based upon ideas. We've laid out a new plan, the commitment to America. The president wants to attack it, let him attack it. I challenge him to a debate. Let's talk about his policies, but what the future can be with this commitment. And I promise you, it's not about Republicans. This is about our country. That's why I need everyone who's listening to join with us. Go to takethehouse.com because Nancy Pelosi says she's going to win seats. The DCCC says they're going to win seats. No one gives you a majority, but this is a fight not for the Republican Party. This is a fight for our nation. If you want an economy that's strong, if you want a nation that's safe again in your streets, if you want a future that's built on freedom, and if you want to have some accountability to your government, this is what's going to happen. And Sean, I promise you this, on the very first day, our very first bill is going to repeal 87,000 IRS agents. Because you know what? We work for you, and it's not the other way around. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, we wish you luck. Thank you. And we're going to be talking to a lot of the uh, candidates running for the House and the Senate. Thank you, Sean. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.